Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our presentation and a pleasant day to all of you. I am Catherine Ayuban, a member of BSN 3E Group 1A. Along with me are Jesse Badajos, Romel Batomalake, Angelica Bayona, and Vivian Borgonia. Today, our research study entitled Challenges in Online Clinical Learning Practice of Nursing Students will be presented in a form of a poster. The global threat of COVID-19 led to considerable modifications in education learning methods around the world. Majority of nursing institutions have shifted their learning platform, whereas learning management systems and webinars are currently used in nursing education. As a result, higher education instructors and students face a number of challenges, especially in nursing curriculum, which have originally been completed in a face-to-face -face setup with experiential learning. Therefore, the purpose of this study was to explore the challenges of the online clinical learning practice of nursing students. For our study, we have used descriptive qualitative as a research design. Descriptive research design creates data that describes the who, what, and where of events or experiences from a personal perspective. Next, the research instrument used in gathering data was a semi-structured interview guide. This is a sequential presentation of open-ended questions or subjects that the interviewer has investigated. The structure consists of general question and possible follow-up questions regarding the experiences of nursing students in an online clinical learning practice. The research team selected six nursing students coming from second, third, and fourth year level as our participants. These participants was selected based on our inclusion criteria, such as they should be 19 to 23 years old, any sexual orientation, any race or ethnicity, must be in second, third and fourth year level of nursing school, and participants must have prior experience in an online clinical learning practice. Moving forward to the results of the study, we have come up with four major themes. For the first theme entitled Limitations of Online Clinical Learning Practice. In the last couple of years, clinical learning practice was adopted online, which led to the popularity of medical education systems. It is undeniable that a variety of issues arose as online clinical practice started. The different types of experiences are common for everyone who is currently doing an online clinical learning practice. And we have identified the limitations and form them into categories like environmental distractions during online classes, lack of skill-based learning, loss of motivation in online learning, and unforeseeable technical issues. The second theme is physiological experiences of nursing students. It discusses how clinical education has been identified as a stressful event, particularly for new or inexperienced nursing students. However, the lack of actual clinical learning practice in the current situation of the nursing education system has exacerbated some of the existing mental issues while also introducing new ones. We have identified these physiological experiences and we clustered them into categories, namely activated academic stress, uncertainty to future profession, and physical and mental exhaustion after synchronous classes. For the third theme, adaptations to challenges in online clinical learning practice. The rapid emergence of COVID-19 and the set of challenges experienced by the participants has provided us with some insights into how these participants cope during their online clinical learning practice. So under this theme, the categories which represent their reputations and these are the following. Changes of study area, having strong support system, and sustaining optimistic in challenging times. The last theme entitled Light of the New Learning Platform. In this theme, it reflects that the absence of adequate preparation and resources for online clinical learning has presented new challenges to nursing students. Although the transition to the new nursing education system was difficult, it has been proven to have its own share of advantages, particularly for nursing students. These benefits are clustered into categories, such as better management of time, enhanced computer literacy, promoting classmate to classmate interaction and convenience and flexibility of online clinical learning practice. In conclusion, nursing students who are experiencing the new learning platform being implemented tend to see themselves surviving and adjusting to the new learning routine and environment. As a result, 
online clinical learning practice has exacerbated existing challenges and introduced problems that they have never encountered before. This set of challenges suggests that the learning outcomes for these students may be poor, as it is a daily imp impediment to the absorption of the knowledge they should gain from their online clinical learning practice. In conclusion, nursing students who are experiencing the new learning platform being implemented tend to see themselves surviving and adjusting to the new learning routine and environment. As a result, online clinical learning practice has exacerbated existing challenges and introduced problems that they have never encountered before. This set of challenges suggest that the learning outcomes for these students may be poor, as it is a daily imp impediment to the absorption of the knowledge they should gain from their online clinical learning practice. To overcome these challenges, the participants devised Huawei coping mechanisms such as changing the study area to avoid distractions, to have a strong support system, and to stay optimistic. With all of the negative impact of this abrupt change in the learning platform, it also shares numerous advantages in the nursing students. Some claim that they were able to develop better time management, enhance computer competency, interactions, and time saving. Next, here are the recommendations of the following groups and authorities. First, for the nursing school administrators, Create a syllabus that ensures that there is still learning to the nursing skill during the online clinical learning practice. Also, a gradual return to face-to-face -face class session starts to prevent a large gap in the learning of the nursing student. For the nursing educators, recommend them to improve their skills and interactions during online classes. Make online discussions and conducive activities to all nursing students. And for parents, we urge them to guide effectively and help their children during online clinical learning experience. So for the nursing students, we recommend addressing their common challenges so that their problem can be given a solution to make their online clinical learning a better experience. For the future researchers, they may give a basis and background knowledge about this topic and look into the effectiveness of the online nursing courses during the time of pandemic. That's it. That completes our presentation. Thank you for listening and God bless.